Good morning, Simmers. Welcome back to The Ranch. I hope you're having a good one because I am excited to be back. Today's an interesting episode. It's interesting for a couple of reasons. Number one, I've done a couple of things since the last episode. And number two, this is actually the first time that one of the cats, this one specifically, Ninja, has been in my office while I'm recording this. So he might get really confused if we have to start yelling at his Sims counterpart. So hopefully that's not something we need to do. I doubt it's something we'll need to do because like I said, there's been some changes since the last episode and that includes training a few of the animals to behave a little bit better. Now that's not to say that they've been trained not to bark. That's not to say that they've been trained to do tricks. I just mean they've been trained to eat less poop, basically. They've also been trained to eat less human food. They're just getting a little bit better at behaving. Now, another little something something I decided to do between episodes was go ahead and get a computer and apparently also just have the cats under the blanket. All right, we got a computer. I got this for a reason though. It's not just because I could. I got this because it turns out we need this in order to do things like lifestyle reviews. So we're gonna go and do a lifestyle review of this campfire out here and we're gonna see if we can't maybe start to uh, level up our entrepreneur skill just a little bit, which is what I think this is. Yes, it absolutely is. I've been talking about this for a minute now, and I finally figured it out. It's also only at five levels. I think this came with the high school expansion. I've honestly got no idea. There are, look, let me be real with you. I have bought almost every single Sims 4 expansion as it comes out, when it comes out, and I never play them because I always know that one day I probably will, and today, we're finally doing some high school stuff. So this will be good. This means I can finally get promoted, which means I can probably keep my job as a nano sim influencer. I am also noticing that um, I'm a little bit tense. So we'll go ahead and just pet the dog. And then we're going to have to bathe him because Harry is looking filthy right now. That's that's a bit of a problem. Now, while we're doing that, I want to talk a little bit about some of the other pets because Coda and Ninja and Harry, I think those three have been to the vet since the last episode. They all got sick. I think Indy might have been as well. He got bit by another squirrel and that was kind of a problem. But I've also been busy making more nectar. You might notice that these guys are all stacked up like this. This is a thing you can do. You don't need any cheats or nothing to do that. These are stackable. It says it in the name. I'm just an idiot for not reading that. But I've been busy. I've been very busy with nectar. If we go and have a look here, we've got some interesting little details that I'm super excited about. We have a single bottle of potato nectar for 657 simoleons. We have five bottles of strawberry nectar, which are worth in total 4,600 simoleons. We have two bottles of grape nectar, 2,000 simoleons. Five bottles of apple nectar, 1,800 simoleons. That's not bad. That is not bad. So I'm level three is what I'm getting at. We're level three when it comes to making nectar. We can make prairie nectar. In fact, let me just go and look at the ingredients and I'll tell you. We can do apple. We can do grape. Those were default. We can do potato. We can do strawberry. And then the ones that we can do where we can't buy the ingredients are prairie grass and trash because apparently we want to make trash nectar. Also, the horse is filthy right now. Let's 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 fix that a little bit. He's also very close to leveling up his temperament. So. We'll brush his coat. We'll get him all cleaned up. We'll make him a little bit happier because he's probably miserable about this. Level six temperament is fantastic for little blue here. I've got, I, is blue ever going to level up or age up? I've realized I've turned off animal aging, haven't I? So I don't know if blue is ever going to age up. Blue might always be a foal. We might need to, I'm pretty sure there's cheats that can age them up. There might also be things, there might also be things we can get that age them up. I don't know. I'm going to have to do some research. I've been doing research on different things. This is one of the, this is not the game I thought I'd be doing research on. I'm going to be honest with you, but I'm really enjoying it. Also worth pointing out is that Marianne has been promoted at least once, maybe twice in the diving career. I don't know what level she is exactly in there, but I mean, we can go and take a look at it. She's been promoted once. She is a diver, which is fair enough. She just needs to keep performing excellently and she'll get promoted again. So I'm assuming that when she goes to work, in three days, she'll get promoted and all will be good. I'm also realizing that there's a good chance that once I level up my entrepreneur, sk entrepreneur skill, I will also get promoted. So let's, let's try and do that. I'm currently napping. What I'm going to, I'm going to cancel these and let's see if we can find some things that I want to review. Can I review the sink? No. Can I review? <laughs> oh man. Uh, right. Let's clean out some spoiled food first. 
I am tired, but everything else is okay. I can't make a lifestyle review of this chair. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I don't know what I can make lifestyle reviews of. I'm going to be honest. I've got no idea. So I'm going to have to um, improvise, I guess. Oh, we can do it on the, uh, the nectar maker. That seems fantastic. So we'll go ahead and do a lifestyle review on the uh, on the nectar thing. I don't know that it's going to be enough to get me to level two. It might be. I don't think it's going to be. It was very nearly. I don't know who Bess, who's Bess Sterling? Hey, hey, champ. So get this. I have a cool business idea. This is going to be the big one, but I, uh, I need a few more simoleons, like a thousand. No, I'm good. I'm good not doing that. We're not, we're not, we're not giving you a thousand simoleons. That's absolutely not happening. Can I lifestyle review this? I can. I'm going to lifestyle review everything is what I'm going to do. So there we go. We can level up, hopefully to level two. There we go. Not bad. I can now promote my hustle by advertising online. Not bad. That also means I'm eligible to, be, to uh, be promoted. I don't think I need to do daily tasks, so I'll take it. That's that's good. That's progress. Now, let's pay a little bit of attention to the animals. What's going on with Coda? He's not been brushed in a while. Let's get that out of the way. Harry is... Honestly, let's brush him as well. And Or that's Barney. I don't know where Harry's... Where is Harry? Harry's here. Does he need a brush? He might need a brush. I don't think he does. Okay, let's just offer friendship. And then when we're done with that, let's check out the goats. So you are happy, clean, full, and content. Let's talk about Cotton Candy Life. And then shear for Somalians. And then... Oh, that's the sheep, actually. This is the goat. Let's have a look at you as well. Let's talk about kids these days, which is an amazing joke to talk to uh, a goat about. And we'll just make sure that they're happy. We'll just make sure that they're content as well. We'll get a little bit of money from them. And that's that's good. That's what we're looking for. The thing is, if we get these guys to level up, we can get them to help us with things. And that's that's kind of important. We can get them to help us with gardening, which I think is hilarious. You're also filthy, apparently. Let's clean you. Let's clean the sheep as well. And just make sure that they're doing all right. Oh, Coda. Coda, 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 Coda. You are going to be needing a bath in the morning is what you're going to be needing. Because right now, I think I've managed to get the Sims into a bit of a schedule. They're sleeping overnight. They're sleeping at the same time, which is good. That's what we're looking for. Well, maybe not everybody is in a regular schedule. As we can see, Harry and Barney are having a great time on the porch. And this would explain why Coda stinks. This would, this would go a very long way to explaining why he stinks. <laughs> now, circling back to nectar making just a little bit, there is a little something something we can do. I may have mentioned it about prairie nectar. So if we go around and start harvesting all of this prairie grass and we look in my inventory, I've got a decent little bit right now. We've got nine and there is a lot of prairie grass to get around this lot. We've got up to... Uh, 11 right now we got 14 right now and i think we've got a little bit more to harvest no we don't and that's okay that's actually totally fine we also found some energy nectar we found a coconut as well which i don't i don't really know what to do with it we could we can plant it drag item into the world to run this interaction can i plant a coconut i want to plant a coconut i'm going to put it like here and i'm going to plant a coconut and we're going to see if we can grow this into into something. I've got the gardening skill, apparently. Let's uh, let's go ahead and water this, which seems like a great idea. And yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But what I want to do is, I guess, make uh, I'm not going to make a lifestyle review. We're going to craft some nectar. We're going to do, do some prairie grass nectar. And it looks like you're a little bit miserable. I guess you're not. No, you're 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 doing all right. But let's give you a little bit of attention, I guess. We'll go ahead and cheer you up because that seems like a pretty good idea. We'll get you to be a little bit happier. He seems a little bit gloomy, which I don't love. We'll maybe tell him a joke and see if that helps him out a little bit. I don't know if it will. I'm hoping it does. Oh, we're good friends with Blue now. Okay. All right. We want to bottle feed him, bask in horse brain. I think we'll just we'll leave him be for now. But I have just gone ahead and made some uh, prairie grass nectar. It's normal quality. It's worth 60 simoleons. We'll go ahead and clean this thing and we'll make another one because we do have a decent bit of prairie grass and we should have enough left over to continue to feed the horse for a little while. In fact, let's go ahead and refill that thing with prairie grass once we're done here and then we can make sure the horse is being fed. We can actually get an idea of how much prairie grass this consumes. Okay, so we're only going to have enough left to make one more of these. I am a little bit tired, but I think just very quickly before we go to bed, 
we'll make one more bottle of prairie nectar and then throw it into uh, these things over here to be aged. I'm also noticing that uh, the radio is broken, so we're going to have to fix that. I'm also not too sure if Ninja has gotten off this table in the last 20 minutes. Let me uh, let me put some of these books away and see if Ninja might be stuck. Can we pick him up where he is there? I think I think we can. I'm pretty sure we can uh, we can pick the cat up and get him off the table because I think he might be. No, maybe not. OK, let's go into uh, we're going to here. We'll move this. Uh... I'm just going to delete this actually and see. Oh, there he goes. So he's off the table now. Well, that's for the best. Let's undo deleting things and go back to live mode and see if he can run around now which he totally can. So while I stand here in my underwear and fix the radio, I want to have a look into these racks and see how we're doing. So one bottle of moderately aged. Are any of them finally aged right now? It doesn't look like it, which is fair enough. We have managed to fill this uh, second rack here as well. There's a lot of prairie grass nectar in here. This is worth $900 right now. We have some potato nectar worth 478 for two bottles. And we do have some energy nectar worth 285 I don't know if I'm going to sell that because I didn't make it. All I did was find it. So I guess we'll find out. But the thing is, we have several thousand dollars worth of nectar right there. And that's kind of exciting. That's that's kind of a good thing. It means that we if we get into a rough spot, which I'm expecting we might. I'm honestly expecting we might get into a bit of trouble with money because we're neither of us are making tremendous amounts. But having this nectar here, I think is going to go a long way to making things a little bit easier for us. Now, apparently I'm hungry. I'm actually a lot of things. I'm hungry. I'm also really needing the uh, the bathroom here. So we'll queue that up or apparently we'll just go to the bathroom and leave the food. We'll go ahead and eat the pancakes. So we'll get that out of the way. We'll get the hunger out of the way. And it is coming up in 4 a.m. So we'll go back to bed. I think that seems like a fair idea. You know, catch up in a little bit of sleep, get a little bit more of that going. I do love the idea of sitting at 4 a.m. Oh, I've got to go to work soon. That's not the worst thing, though, to be fair. That's that's not the end of the world, because at the end of the day, we might get promoted today. And that's kind of exciting. So let's actually get up, get dressed and go to work. And let's hope that I get promoted. But before we do that, I actually want to go and replace the pet bowls that we have at the moment, because I want to get these automated ones, because I do keep forgetting to feed the animals, which is getting to be a bit of a problem. So we'll go for these kind of expensive looking ones. And I'm not really too sure where to put them. I guess we can go for there and there. And I would imagine we only really need the two of them. I don't think we need all that many bowls because these things will get refilled. And that's probably good enough. But here's the other thing, right? Here's 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 another little detail. We can get a chicken coop. We can get a bee box. We can get an animal shed. So a chicken coop is going to let us get, well, hens, roosters, and chicks, which is kind of exciting. We can get an animal shed where we can get cows and llamas. And I mean, I, oh, I, I kind of want these. They're not that expensive either. 400 for the chicken coop. And I'm kind of tempted to put it like up here and then put a fence around it so the chickens can't go too far. Oh my God. I'm, you know what? You know, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. This seems like such a good idea. This seems like such a bad idea to be quite honest, but I'm going to do it. We're going to get a chicken coop. I'm going to get the animal shed as well. And I want it to be. What do I want it to look like? Do I want it to have like nice? Oh, that's that's I kind of like the colors on this one. If it looks like the picture. Oh, I do. I do like that a lot. That's that's really cute. That's that's kind of adorable. I don't know if this thing actually needs a fence around it. What other other colors have we got? We got the blue one. I don't like the blue one as much. I don't like the green one. I like this one with the purple roof on it. So we'll spend some money on this again. I don't know if it needs a fence around it. We have a fence around the entire lot, to be fair. I don't know if we need a separate fence around the chicken coop for that, but we'll give it a shot and we'll see what happens. So can I can I grab this? I absolutely can. Let's go ahead and just lay out. Do I want to include the tree in this? I, I think I kind of do want to include the tree in this. Do I want to go like out here and maybe I don't know, bring this over at a diagonal a little bit to like there. Is that a little bit much? That might be. I kind of want to keep that uh, that bit of grass in there, which apparently is going to mean I have to come down to here, which means putting a post in. Uh, I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. Can I maybe do something a little bit smaller? Maybe this instead? I, I don't. Hmm. I don't know. I'm trying to not interfere with the posts that already exist on the fence. I think that's probably better. It might be a little small, 
but I think we'll kind of deal with it. So let's just take out this entire section that we just built. And uh, does that get rid of the extra post over there? It does. All right. I'm kind of okay with that. Do we have a small version of this gate? Because I know we have the large one. So that's a log gate. We've got the, the paddock gate right down there. We might just have to use the log one, which apparently doesn't fit. Okay, maybe not. So the answer was no. We we don't have a smaller gate. We're dealing with the uh, we're dealing with this larger one. But I can get chickens. I can get chickens is what I can get. I can purchase chickens. We can get a black hen, a black rooster, a brown hen, a brown rooster. We can get chicks. We can get white hens. Oh, I'm kind of excited about this. A hen can lay eggs while they are in a coop. If you have a hen and a rooster, the hen might lay hatchable eggs. Ooh. Okay, so this thing has a capacity of eight. So why don't we? I I don't I don't really I don't really know. Do we want to have like I feel like the brown rooster is kind of like the classic rooster. So we'll get one of those, and then maybe go for like a, a brown hen, a black hen, and a white hen, and see how that goes. And I I kind of want to see them. I kind of need to see them. I'm not gonna lie. Oh look at him. Look at him, and I see some other feet coming down that ramp back there. It's gone the other way. Never mind. Oh, look at you. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> I am so happy right now. And there's the rooster as well. What a lad. So a little something something I've decided to do is turn move objects on. So we have testing cheats enabled. We have move objects enabled. But I'm just doing that so I can get a little bit of grass in this corner over here because it is a little bit bare in here. And maybe something like a lavender bush in the corner as well. Maybe a little dry rose bush or something. We don't want to go too crazy with this, but I just want to get like a little something something out here. Just so this looks a little bit, uh, I don't know. So it looks a little bit more pleasant, I guess, is kind of what I'm going for. So we'll do, uh, we'll do a little bit of grass maybe here as well. So we kind of have this corner going on with, uh, with all of that stuff. Could do a cactus. We could do a cactus. I don't think we want to do a cactus, but it is an option. We can also get another tree here, which I kind of love the idea of doing like a, a big old tree right there. I don't think it's clipping into anything. And I think that looks really cool. I don't know if the chickens can get around behind it either, but I'm really not too worried about it. In fact, what if we did the chicken coop this way? Is that is that going to be functional? Is that clipping into anything? I don't think it is. It might be a little bit on that tree, but we can just sort of move this guy forward to uh, to about there. And that seems fine. I, I like that a lot. Just a tiny little bit of detailing. We could maybe do something down in this corner as well, but I think we'll leave it be for now. And apparently I didn't get promoted at work, which is a bit annoying. I might have to post a review of some place at some point, but what I'm going to do is come out here and scatter some chicken feed nearby because that seems like a great idea to get these guys to be nice and happy. So we'll throw some feed around and that'll hopefully keep them, you know, like I said, nice and happy. We've got this guy going over to eat a little something, something. Can I wait? Can I bond with? Oh, my. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, dress brown rooster in. I have. Wait, talk to the creature keeper in Henford on Bagley's Bramblewood neighborhood to get animal clothing. I mean, I don't know about you, but I, <laughs> I think I know where we're needing to go right now. And I don't know about you, but this seems like a good opportunity to bring everyone to a national park. And I see ducks. Oh my God, I see ducks. I need, I need, I need. Can I play with the ducks? I can play in the rain. I can play in the water. I don't think anyone's going to be thrilled about the weather right now. But to be fair, Blue seems to be loving it. So there's that. That's, that's, that's always good. Blue's having a great time. Where is, where's this person I need to speak to about buying clothes for my chickens? That's all I'm here for is the chicken clothes. Certainly not the weather because it's a disaster. Wait, what is this? It's like a big snail. Take selfie with Sophie. Okay, the snail's name is Sophie. I wasn't expecting the lore to be this deep, but apparently it is. Is Marianne paranoid? I'm going to say no. She's, she's not paranoid. We're not going to go with that. Lure out rabbits. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm finding lots around here as well. These are adorable. I love this one. Like I can sort of see inside of this one. I love like the old rustic cottage with the super modern uh, bit built on the back here. This is like something you'd see in grand designs. There's another one over here as well somewhere. It's hard to see in the rain. There it is. Look at this. Look at the roof. It's got like a little thing up there. I love this so much. They got space for chickens out back. They got like some gardening plots. They got plaza. They got like a, a fountain plaza looking thing. They've got 
what's clearly not a Land Rover. <laughs> I love this. This is so nice. I would absolutely... Man, I would absolutely move us out here. We might have to do that. This see, I mean, this lot's maybe not big enough to have a horse on, but... I don't know. Maybe we'd do it anyway and figure out if we... I mean, this seems like the perfect place to have a horse. It really does. It seems like the perfect place for one. Also, this is cool. I've never... Like I said, I just said it like five minutes ago. I've bought all of the DLCs. I just don't know what most of them do. I don't know what's in most of them. This whole series is going to be a journey of self-discovery for me. Wait, focus camera on Creature Keeper? <gasps> You're who I'm looking for. All right, we need to go speak to you. Invite to have a mud fight. That seems like a great way to introduce myself to someone. So I'd like to buy animal clothing if that's an option. And oh my, wait, I can have, I can have rabbits. I can have rabbits. Oh, now that's interesting. That's really interesting. I can also have a formal black top hat. We need that. We absolutely need that. What is this? That is, is that for a dog? I think that's for a dog. That's interesting. I need rabbits, man. I absolutely, absolutely need rabbits. We can also get a little Robin Hood. I'm putting a Robin Hood outfit on Coda. I'm 100% putting a Robin Hood outfit on Coda. I'm getting a neck warmer. This stuff is really expensive, actually. We'll just get the two things for now because I can't afford the rest of it because I need to go sell my nectar. Also, apparently Marianne needs a shower. So this seems like a good time to go home, I think. Oh, you would be out here eating the chicken feed, wouldn't you? You would be out here <laughs> eating the chicken feed. Of course you would be. All right. Can I, can I, can I dress you? I, Marianne has no, oh, do I have the clothes? I do. All right, we're putting the top hat on you. We're putting the top hat on the rooster is what we're doing. <laughs> I, <laughs> I am so, <laughs> I love it. Oh my God, I love it. Coda, stop playing in the trash. Quit playing, <laughs> quit playing in the chicken feed. Quit it. That's, that's enough. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I dress you? That's not what I'm looking for. I need, I don't know if it was, hold on. Let me look at my inventory. That was, that was for a dog, right? Can I, can I put that on Coda? I don't know if I can. I don't, I honestly have no idea. I don't think I can. That looks like it's for a dog. That absolutely looks like it's for a dog. Can I list on, no, I don't want to list on plops. I don't want to sell it. Maybe it's an outfit. Maybe I have to go plan outfits. So let's let's wake up Coda real quick. Which apparently Barney's already trying to do. I love the top hat so much. I really love the top hat so much. We're going to wake him up. We're going to give him a bath. And then what we need to do is go to pet care and change outfit, plan outfits. I've got no idea. Oh, never mind. I'm an idiot. It says a dashing outfit for foxes, which... I'm assuming it means literally foxes, right? It's not for dogs. Never mind. We'll keep it anyway because maybe we can use it at some point, but yeah, I feel like an idiot. Anyway, I'll tell you what we do need. We need to come over here because uh, we can woohoo in the <laughs> we can woohoo in the animal shed. All right, well we gotta break this in before we do anything else. Is is what we're gonna do? That's 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 what we're doing here today. Is um we're gonna go we're gonna go and we're gonna go. <laughs> Do it like they do on the Discovery Channel, I guess. Oh man, there is a lot going on in there. Good lord. That's very, um... It's very... <laughs> <laughs> oh, this game. This game, never change. All right, so we can get llamas and we can get cows. I So llamas produce wool, which can be used to reduce the cost of cross-stitch projects and can be traded to the creature keeper in the Bramblewood for animal clothing they need attention food and to be kept clean and cows produce milk which can be changed by feeding them animal treats make sure to give your cows some attention food and keep them clean so we have enough for two llamas the shed capacity is only one though that's interesting okay i the the meme lord in me wants the llama but honestly cows are kind of adorable I'm going to say it. Cows are kind of more adorable than llamas. Look at him. Look at him. He's, he's, he's a big boy. That's, that's a big, that's a big boy is what that is. We can also name him. 
which we could go for Daisy, but I'm not going to go for Daisy. I'm going to go for chicken and I'm going to go for nugget because I think that's a funny name for a cow. We get chicken nugget, the cow, which is, which is, <laughs> and it's also because I saw this because I saw get a cow nugget of advice. I think that's funny. The <laughs> chicken nugget, <laughs> clean chicken nugget. I love it. <laughs> oh, milk chicken nugget. Ugh. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. I I regret nothing. <laughs> I regret nothing. What's wrong with Ninja? What's uh, what's going? I think he's hungry. I think I'm gonna need to change the schedule on this to be not 12 hours, but like every three hours, so that they actually get fed on the regular. So hopefully that way these things will like actually feed the animals because I think they're uh yeah they're getting kind of hungry and they're all starting to complain about it all right I want to say that today has been relatively successful so far but before we wrap things up I want to have a look at my nectar and see how we're doing so we have moderately aged potato and we have finely aged apple this is what I was looking for we have moderately aged strawberry worth 4,600 for the five bottles finely aged apple for 1,500 right there we have moderately aged grape and we have, am I gloomy? I would say yes, but I'm not going to say that my sim's gloomy. Absolutely not. So we have some finely aged stuff in here, which is kind of amazing. If we look at the other one, we've got some moderately aged prairie grass for 2,760. We have some potato nectar for 1,000 right there. We have some uh, lightly aged energy nectar as well for 380. I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and sell the finely aged apple nectar because it's 567 for one bottle and we do kind of need the money. And I think I'm also gonna sell the finely aged apple nectar here for 1,155 simoleons. And that gives us enough money to feel a little bit more comfortable, which is what we're looking for. So let's go and refill the animal feeders here to make sure that they're always being fed at a reasonable time. I've changed these things to be every hour because I realize that with the amount of animals that we have, that's probably for the best. But I think we can probably go ahead and leave it there for today. I don't really know if it's a good thing or a bad thing that we got chickens and a cow, but that is potentially another source of money. So I'm not complaining about it. But either way, I'm kind of happy with how this place is looking. I don't love that Barney is once again drinking from a puddle, despite being told not to do that. But it's not the end of the world. He's not indoors doing it. I'm not really too bothered, although his brother might get started here as well. Either way, thank you so much for watching, everybody. It has been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.